Denver Public School District is trying to win the war on childhood obesity, and they're doing it in an innovative way, but did they go too far? The school system there sending home health reports, like regular report cards, letting parents know if their kids are overweight. The kids aren't supposed to read the reports themselves, but at least one kid did, and she is really upset, her mom says, about li being listed as overweight. Her mom is angry over how the school handled the whole thing. I'm joined now by defense attorney David Schwartz on the phone, Shannon Gessling, executive director of the Southeastern Legal Foundation. This is in Denver, but they definitely wanted to weigh in. David, let me start with you. Was the school in the wrong by sending the report card, health report card, home with the student? How do, you, how do you tell parents that their child is overweight by sending it in their backpack? Of course the child is going to read this report. And these children are very impressionable. At kindergarten through eighth grade, this could be damaging to the rest of their lives. This is unacceptable behavior, and the school has to look at how they do this. It's a private matter. Shannon? I'm laughing at you, David. You've got to be kidding. The issue that we should address is the fact that there's a sealed envelope that the 10-year-old broke into and violated her mother's privacy, demonstrated no respect for the administration, no, no respect for her mother, no respect for herself. And the fact is, is that was she disciplined for doing it? And then her mother contradicts the fact that she doesn't want to embarrass her daughter and makes her daughter an example. But I've seen the pictures of the child, and she, the child is overweight, and so is the mother. Well, let me ask you, Shannon, about, in general, the school is trying to combat a problem that is really in record numbers across the country. Absolutely. They have parent-teacher conferences maybe they could do it there but in this particular case they thought giving the information would help the parents yes was I there a better way David but I mean who is the David. school to inflict emotional distress on a child <laughs> yeah, the 10 year old is overweight fine the 10 year old is overweight there is a better way of doing this is it's it not actionable? for the school it is actionable oh, negligent please. infliction of emotional distress Shannon <laughs> I mean this behavior is completely unacceptable and the school needs to pay the price Shannon, for doing this to a child ridiculous Report cards, discipline cards, um, discipline notes for decades. All right, how yeah. about money damages in this case? I say just oh. let me weigh in as the third lawyer in the group. Could you just serve our kids a healthy lunch? That would be a really good start, too. Go ahead, Shannon. I like it, Jamie. I uh, know there's no damage here. The only emotional distress is for the rest of us who have been embarrassed by the conduct of the mother. The mother handled this poorly, should have addressed the child's interpretation of the letter, should have disciplined the child appropriately, and should focus on the health and well-being of her child. And if she wants to deal with communication, she should have done it through the PTA and the administration. And if she wants to pay the money to have her letter sent home via U.S. Postal Service, have at it. That, but this that is, is easier word. said than done. Easier David, said David, than done. Come David on. is saying that you're wrong. There are potential money damages oh, for emotional wrong. distress. Yeah. Yeah. I'm against a hard break. I guess there's privacy issues, too. Does a parent now have to disclose to the school that their child might be on a medication that's causing weight gain? That can happen as well. Email me at jamie at foxnews.com. Let me know what you think. David, Shannon, great to have you back. Thank you. Thanks, Jamie.